All right, I'm going to show you how to set up the StarCraft 1701 pop-up camper. First, we need to get the chucks out for the wheels. To do that, we got to open this door, but we got to lift up here. If you got someone to help you, that's even better because it'll catch on this if you don't lift it up. So we're going to grab this chuck out, set it in front of the wheel. And then the other is a ball lift for getting the camper perfectly level. This is the first time I've used this, but the reviews are pretty awesome. So we're going to go around to the low side wheel. This would be the high side wheel, and it goes this way. So we want to put this on the low side wheel because we're going to be cranking it up till it's level. So it's a chuck, and it also levels it. So it just slides in like so. And then you just start cranking it, and you'll see a little hole down here that this goes into. Make sure you don't keep hitting the button. So pretty soon it's going to get tight and it's going to start cranking the rig. The nice thing is it keeps it from rolling frontwards, backwards, and it also levels the trailer. The one thing about pop ups, you want to make sure they're perfectly level because you don't want your uh, lid bending left or right you want to have that thing straight up don't want to put any stress on the the bars that hold it up or pillars i guess you call them and i know we need to go about three inches up so we're gonna just keep cranking here okay let's go find the level which is Right back here, and you can see we got quite a ways to go because this little bubble's got to be right in the middle. So we'll go back to cranking away. Kind of good exercise. Give it another check, see how far we moved. And it's barely moving. So we'll have to keep cranking. What do we think? Pretty good right there. Is it is it good? Right in the middle? Oh. Yeah, it looks like I got a little ambitious even. I think we can go down a little bit. We want that sucker as centered as possible. And definitely down is a lot easier than up. Let's see? Oh yeah, that's like right on. And we'll have to maybe do a little adjusting once we detach it from the vehicle. So now that's done. We're gonna go ahead and uh, Take it off the tow rig, because it's chucked both wheels. Lift that up, so pull this pin out, this stuff up. Just put that pin in temporary. We gotta take the power cord off. Wrap it around so it's not hanging on the ground. Remove the two chains. You don't wanna hook them there because we're gonna need those holes later for the beds. So I grabbed these units out. And that's just depending on which way the, the ground is. You don't need these, but you have to just crank less, which is always good. So then we gotta crank this down. We made just sure to unleash everything. Wheels are chucked. And just start cranking. You just wanna crank it high enough to get the tow vehicle out of the out of there. 
And sometimes you'll notice, usually not on this one because it's smaller and lighter, and it's going to move around. That this will get attached to the ball, and you got to move it to have it come off. But it's definitely coming off, and we're high enough. No one got too high, get caught, and I'm going to move this tow rig out of the way. So now we got to just level the the rig front to back. I mean, look at this one. Looks like we got about a inch or so to go down so we'll just keep cranking her down you can kind of look at the top and when it looks pretty good and level go back and check it i think we're probably getting pretty close i'm gonna say that's about right but i could be wrong we'll see and nope i got a little more to go And we don't want it spot on because once we crank up that back, it, I went too far now. But it's very important with a pop-up to get it perfectly level. Other campers, you need it level for the fridge, but here you're dealing with, uh, okay, we're level here, dealing with roof and the weight can go one way or next. So now we gotta grab the wrench for the s stabilizers. Now do not try to lift the vehicle with this. They're just here to stabilize it. So you go ahead and crank those down. And you're gonna lift it a little bit, you'll see it come up until it gets kind of snug, like that. But you don't wanna take the wheels off the ground because you're gonna bend these and they're not cheap to replace. And then I gotta sit and fix it. And if I got another rental, that's not good. So keep cranking. tight now let's make sure we're still level here we're a little low wait so this could come up a little bit we can crank it a little bit more not too much just to kind of level it out but just like an extra crank or two and that looks dead on so now we got our rig leveled our front secure we are going to go ahead and start cranking up the, the top. So, you got to make sure these are all unlatched, which we did so we can get this lifted up. You can't lift it. And now, one thing to note, we can go up a little ways. If you're under six feet, I'm 5'11", I can barely get this canopy out when it's cranked all the way. So if you're shorter, you might want to take it out of the, the bag now and get it hanging down. It's kind of more of a pain to have it in the way, but if you're too short, you're going to have to do that or get something to climb up on. So we're going to crank this up a ways. This just goes in here. And right here it says turn crank to raise. So we're going to start raising. Okay, now that this is starting to come up, we're going to see this little guide wire here now this is important we're going to watch this once you start getting to the top it's going to get taut once it's taut or tight stop don't crank it anymore because you break this off and go any farther you're going to start repping this stuff and then you're talking money There, that's nice and tight. That means that everything's ready to go. So now we need to get this bed out. And that's gonna, this is gonna be laying on top here, right here on this bed. You just pull that out, make sure you don't catch on anything. Pull it out the door. And it's got two little bars that go in these round holes up front. One here, another one here. And these two go in here. One here. And one over here. 
So once they're in, start pulling the bed out slowly. Now you want to pull this slowly just in case it catches. You pull it fast and it catches on something like it's caught right now. You could be breaking stuff. So if it catches on something, just kind of go around and look, see where possibly be an issue. I don't see anything. Could be just us here. There, yep. And then we're gonna pull that so it's all the way out. And then if you want to look here, we got two little clips here. We're gonna to have to ask to put supports there too. If you forget that to do that, the bed's gonna fall out and you're gonna fall on the floor. It's not fun. So now that we got the bed out, now, you always want to remember before you go into the camper, we got to make sure we have the safety support bars in. They go on the pillars front door side and they just slide up in and push in and then down like that. That's just in case this cable that raises this roof breaks, this thing's not going to fall on your head. So do not forget to do that. And this one's going to go on the back. opposite corner this goes in here like so now we're safe now you can go inside the camper and not worry about it falling on your head so now we gotta grab the other bars it looks like the ones i'm grabbing first are for the back bed so we'll go ahead and do that just be careful when you're pulling stuff not to scratch up floor or rip any fabric you don't want to turn a camping trip into an expensive adventure. So that goes in that bottom hole down there. The flat blade. And this is just like the other side. Just clips right in there. This one goes in here. And clips right in there. Same thing here. Grab and pull slowly. Not quickly. Okay, once you get it pulled out, I'm show you underneath here, there's a little clip right just like the other side and you gotta make sure that it's in there like this so it's clipped like that so when you pull and make this tent taut this bed doesn't move on you there you go that's all there is to that okay now these are the last two for the big bed up front so you and the missus don't fall onto the ground, hurt yourself, make sure you get these in. And the easiest way is kind of pull and lift and just drop it in. Yeah. Pull and lift, just like that. We're done with this. You can just leave the crank in there. You're gonna need it when you take it down. All right, let's get the step out. Bam, just like that. And then before, we gotta make sure all these are pulled out before you try to put that canopy up. So just kind of walk around the rig, and pull this stuff out. Bam, bam, bam. And one more. Okay, now we're good. We're gonna get these bunks up. So come in, grab your post. You got this little clip here. That's just gonna go right in between these two screws that you can see right there. You push it out, and right up here, there's a little hole. So while you're pushing, there's a little button up here. You wanna push on that, push it in there, and done. Now you got your first Queen size bed. We got that bunk up. Let's just get this out of the way. This is the bar BQ that you probably saw in the pictures. It's pretty awesome. Just kind of attaches right here. We'll show you how to do that later. We'll get that out of our way. And come back in here. We gotta get that other bunk up, but first we gotta get the sink in place. So let's get these cushions out of the way. Because there's little pads here that hold that sink in place. And if you try to lift it up with the cushions in place, it's just trouble. 
All right, get this back out of the way, put it over here, and lift slowly. That's all you gotta do. And you'll notice if you forgot to get the bed in there incorrectly and didn't get those latches where they're supposed to go, this wouldn't come up right. So notice how the lights kind of came on magically? Well, there's a little switch to make sure they don't stay on while you're traveling. And there's a little clip back here that you can't see, but it's gonna look identical to this clip on the door. Oh, I guess just that one. Uh, oh, you won't see it until we get down there. But anyways, there's a little clip back there. You wanna secure that so these lights don't flicker on and off. And bam, that sinks in place. We got this, so we can go ahead and put the second bunk up. Same thing, plastic clip, right between the two screws. Kind of handy, you don't have to find the center. Probably took an engineer to figure that out. Push those up, and bam. Now our beds are ready to go. Hold these in, make this look good. So while we're in here, let's go ahead and just uh, set up this table. Lift this up, just place it out of the way. And this pole goes in this hole down here. So just give it a twist. And this is the AC, so if you're gonna be using AC, go ahead and plug that in right now. That goes in down here. There. And bam, done. Let's go ahead and throw the cushions in. It's easier without the table in the way. Cushion, and then you'll notice one of them a hard board that goes here the soft one's got back in there with the bed so it doesn't need that hard board and the hard board goes on the back side cushion these go on your back so that goes here and we got a nice table for four or six if you're small we've done it before and then this little thing here just goes on top of here and give it a couple twists to get it nice and tight. Bam, you're done. So, now that we got that in, let's go ahead and make sure we finish off this canopy. So what we need to do is clip these things here, these little bungees. You notice here how I got black ones? Well, if, when you put it down, you forget to take these off, you bust these. How do I know this? I've done it. And that's why we got these black ones, but they work. We go ahead and there's like these little metal clips. Just go ahead and clip it around. So this is just to make sure you stay nice and dry. Get the water to run off. And just keeps the tent nice and tight. Okay. And then this one over here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Well, while we're walking by here, these also have to come out. They come off the Velcro here. They're gonna go around these bars, keeps the water from going down in there. The zipper here and this Velcro thing right here. You just want to kind of Velcro it. And another thing you got to make sure you un Velcro when you take it down. So this is just going to Velcro in nice and neat all the way up. And we're just going to do it all for them. I'm going to kind of tuck that in there. All right. Let's do this one too. Pull that out. Make sure it's Velcro here. And bam, done. And let's get these again. Notice how the black ones are the first ones because somebody, me, pushed it in without taking these off. Why I tell you that again? Because don't do it. Sure everything's here. Listen down.
and done. Okay, this one here, a little bit bigger. It's made to go around this red bar, and I gotta get this Velcro. You don't want anything out in the open because you don't want rain coming in. Rain's no fun, plus it wrecks equipment. So let's get this thing. Around. And those, it's kind of stuck. Kind of move the roof along a bit. You just want to make sure it's under there so it's waterproof. And the last one. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we got that done. Now, if you notice here, I closed the door. What's wrong with this picture? Oh, we're missing part of the door. That's because it is stuck to the roof. Let's go ahead and keep the cameraman out here because we got to close this door. And well, maybe we'll bring him in here because we got to show him, show you guys something. So go ahead and come in here, camera guy. You'll see a couple little clips right here. So. You lift up, you turn these and drop it down, but you gotta hold it up with one hand while you're dropping that down. We don't wanna drop it down yet, because we gotta, well, we'll keep the camera right in here. So I'm gonna close this door, because he's gonna wanna take a picture from this side and how I'm doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift that up, straighten that clip, straighten that clip, bring this down. And it's attached there, so you're good there. So we'll bring this down, and then we gotta lift it up like this. And there's two little black things here. See those little black things? They're gonna go right into these here and here. So we gotta line this sucker up nice and neat. Make sure everything's there. And just slide that in there like that. And then up here, we push and bam. And now this latch, which is stuck, Yeah, see, we're not perfect. I got this latch stuck. There we go. Put this latch down. Bam. That holds the door together. Let that one loose. Now we got a full size door. Look at that. And just so you know, this is about five feet, nine and a half inches or so. And I've whacked my head on a hundred times. So I don't do it. All right, now we're getting to the best part, the RVQ. Yeah, this is for the man. When you're camping, you gotta be grilling. So, this is so slick, you just put it on here. But you gotta make sure that this goes underneath there. And when you do, just give it a little try. Not, don't push really hard. It's a, you know, pop-up camper, but just make sure that's secure. Then we're gonna pull this out. You see this little regulator here? It's gonna have to go underneath here, so it's kinda Kind of a trick. Once you've done it a couple times, bam, done. Look at that. Done. Okay, now we just gotta hook up the gas line, which is pretty handy. It's just right here. You don't want to get gas tanks, nothing. Make sure that it's still in the closed position. Hook that up. And slide it on, just like that. Bam, done. That's open. So that's closed. That's on. That locks it in place too, so it can't come out. Now, let's go turn the gas on and over here. And if you're smart, you'll do it before you get this up, but I never do. Because I don't do it till I need it. So, make sure that's open. And, let's turn this thing on. Yep, so if you know how to use a grill, you know how to use this. Turn it on. A little flame. And done. We're going to go ahead and set up the stove. I already did, so I'm not going to show you what happens, but what happens is that it takes a while for the gas to get it through the lines. So we want to have our flame down there and make sure that we got both of these running before we go start the water heater, because we know now we got gas. Or not water heater, sorry, it's fridge. All right, let's get the fridge going. 
over here, just behind this little door. You got these little tabs here. You just gotta turn them up so they're facing up and down. Bam, and it should just pop right off like that. Okay, this is off like this. Turn it to high. And that's where we went and started those. Make sure we got gas lines. So hold this down and then click this thing. You'll see a little spark. And if you look right in there, you'll see a blue flame. It's a lot easier at night. Now we got blue flame, the thing's running. Now the one thing about these gas fridges, they work great. They last forever on a tank of propane. But you need to let it run for about 12 hours before it gets cold. Not the fastest thing. So fridge is running, camper's up. Now we just grab a breeder from our cooler, which we don't have. Sit down and relax. Enjoy your camping. Oh, a couple things I guess. Furnace that's all automatic. So if you need furnace, you just set the temperature here, automatically start up. If you're a little hot, here's your controls. Low cool, high cool, just like that. I don't know I'm plugged in right now, but I mean, everybody knows how to use AC, right? Let's hope so. All right, we're gonna go over the features. We got two outlets here, 110. What else we got? We got a step, we saw that. Gas tanks, battery. Battery should last a couple weeks, one week, if you're running a lot of heat. We went over the fridge, that's just the vent for it. If you fill up here, if it's warm, you know it's running. This is where the fresh water goes in. Go ahead and take this off. Fill that tank till it comes pouring out. You want to watch it, because you don't want to just leave it and let the water come out, because it could burst the wires, lines in there. We'll go ahead and put that back. Then here's your power cord. There's about 30 feet, but it's inside there. So if you can't get it out, if it doesn't want to pull out easy, you want to go in there and uh, get it off. Now with the AC unit, as long as you got a 15 or 20 amp 110, you're good. If you're at a campground, they'll usually have a 30 amp, you'll have more than enough juice. But this is an adapter if it's only 15 amp or 20 amp. That's for your power. I'm gonna shove that back in there. If you have trouble, you can always go in there and get that out. So let's go inside, go over the features in there. You got your outside light here. Just a little switch here, on off. And pretty basic, you got a light here, light here. We got your stove, we know we're here, we got a radio, it's power. If you want to Google online how to Bluetooth it, you can hook your phone Donate up to it. two times a week between June 3rd and June 30th, and you could receive a hundred dollars in bonuses. Not bad for a camper. You got your broom, some dustpan in there. Uh, what else? We got uh, silver in here, or not silver, but uh, cups and dishes and whatnot. Oh, uh, remote here. That's for your uh, mood lighting. Hit the button here. Bam. Yeah, green, blue, pink, different colors. Yeah. This little switch here is for the lighting underneath. I'll go ahead and turn that off. It does suck a little juice. You're running off batteries. You probably don't want to run that all the time. But it does look cool. Where are you so, in here, we get all your cookware, whatnot, uh, coffee pot. Oh, and also, nice little bonus for you. It helps keep the camper clean. In fact, I appreciate it if you don't wear your shoes in here when you're camping. We got this green mat here. Pull this mat out, put it out front underneath the canopy. Keeps it clean, keeps it dry. It's just really nice. And I guess the last thing really in here. And you got your drawer somewhere. Got to lift up and pull. Oh, yes. We're looking for that. There it is. Keys. All right, last thing here, let's check this out. Just show you, if you don't have AC and you want fans, you can run off 12 volt. 
There's two little fans plug in right here. So there's two fans for each bunk, fan for each bunk. Plugs are right here. So we'll plug in here. There's also some uh, sticks for marshmallows, an extra extension cord, and uh, just a little bit of extra extension cord. I think that's it. Well, if you have any other questions, Google it. Someone will make a YouTube video. Last case, worst case scenario, give me a call. Well, let's get this shut off. Power this down. All right, and we are ready to take this thing down. All right, we just had our fun week of camp, so we're gonna tear down the camp. First off, let's get the RVQ that treated us well. Let's pop that off, just like that. We can leave that hose until we get this out. Let's get the bag in a good spot here. Pull that out, make sure we get that out of there. That just goes inside the bag. Just being careful that regulator. And let's pull that out. Put this on that side, away from the regulator. Just like that. And we'll zip that up. RVQ is done. Bam. Put it back in there. Close the door. Bam. All right, so what are we going to do first? Yes, we can go ahead and come in here. Many loose articles away. In fact, these are not going back in. The trouble game stays here. Just in case no one brings their games. You got a game to play. Close that up. I'm gonna make sure, sweep it out, but since it's clean, we don't have to worry about that. So go ahead and put this down. Just lift it up. Well then, make sure we latch this. It's very important. Oh, just a quick note. Here's the water switch for the water pump. So you got water here, but I don't want to turn it on because it's going to drip a little. All right, so let's get this table down. Before we do that, yeah, we can go ahead and put the table down now. I'm going to take the cushions off. Give the table a twist, slowly lifting. Same with this, you kind of twist it back and forth, and then you just lay this right here. Okay, now that we got this out, we're gonna grab the RVQ, put that down underneath, get that out of the way. It just goes right here. It's like it was made for it. I don't think so, but it fits. We gotta unplug the air conditioner. We can get this table in here. Then you wanna take this air conditioner cord and kinda throw it over here because that bed's gonna come back. And we're gonna keep an eye on that when we're pushing that bed in, just make sure it doesn't get jammed. And then before we put these down, we gotta put this down. But we wanna get this out of here because it's kind of a pain get to. So you just push this button up here, pull this down, yank this out, let's put it over in the other bed for now. And then we just want to make sure that none of this tent fabric is stuck underneath this. We want to make sure that's flat because there's just enough room for this thing. We don't want to bust anything. We're going to go ahead and detach the switch, just push it up like that. And the sink is going to come down like so. As soon as we do that, lights turn off. Set that down. And throw these back down. Make sure this is not caught underneath there. All right. 
right. So before we take the other one down, it's easier to kind of take everything apart first here. So we gotta make sure how this is off. These are off. Go ahead and shove them underneath. You don't have to attach it everything, just kind of make sure it's stuck there. Let's go ahead and remember to take these off. This is important. Well, easier to take them off than to put them on. until we're ready to make sure this velcro here is not sticky anymore there's nothing under here Get a little here and while we're here oh I'm gonna leave this running because I got someone coming tomorrow pick this up so I want that fridge nice and cold for him I'll leave that running but when you're working over here you'll feel it's warm you're like oh I gotta turn that fridge off So I think we want to take the door out here, but I tend to forget that. So we want to go ahead and we got to get in here and close it. You'll see me soon enough. Detach this thing. Make sure the Velcro's off. Two little tabs inside. Let me stop. Oh. Gosh, there you go. And just push this up like that. Clip this in. Like that. Yeah, that's secure. And drop this one down. Like so. Again, checking to make sure this fabric is not on this. So this is down, AC is unplugged, this cord is out of the way. Looks like we can start rolling the bed in. Why don't we do that? So again, same as pulling out the beds, just want to go really slow. If you got anything that's binding, most likely you forgot to get that Velcro, but we got to detach these, so just kind of lifting. Kind of pulling left to right. I'm going to slowly push this in. Okay. Slowly. Should go nice and easy. If not, you got a problem. Okay, we got that in. Go ahead and gonna tuck this stuff up here. And we can go ahead and detach these. Go ahead and put them on the floor down here. All right. 
Okay, now this one, we can take these two off. One. Two. Put these in here. I think we can go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna check to make sure I got this Velcro over here. Nope. Velcro over here. Uh, there we go. Okay, now this one pushing slowly. And this one's going to stop when you almost get all the way in. You'll fear out. Oh, well, we got lucky. We got this thing level. Okay, come over here, I'm gonna show you, because if it gets stuck, what happened is this wasn't come, you didn't push it perfectly straight, and this thing is gonna cut right here. So if it stops and it gets stuck, just come over here and kind of give it a little push, and then it slides right in. That was like the first time it's ever happened where it went perfectly in. But I was taking my time to show you, I'm gonna show you how important it is to take your time. All right, that one's done. This one comes up. Just flat like that, and we just lay this on top of the bed. I want to make sure it's away from that air conditioner. Just like that. A little too far there. There. Okay. So now that's in. That's in. What? Oh, tuck the stuff in. We're gonna do this again, about three quarters of the way down. Just get her going here. All right, all right. So before we crank this down, last thing we do, make sure we're not going in there. Take off the safety bars. And just kind of pull out. And put these in here. Don't put them on the bed. It's gonna not fold down correctly. Put those in here. Go around and take the other one off. All right. Get those off. Let's go ahead and crank this sucker down. Make sure you're not going out. You'll hear it ratchet if you are. Because this just goes down. We're gonna go about three quarters or more down. And go around and tuck everything in again. Okay. Let's go through here, tuck. Tuck. She's in. And we're gonna have to do this one more time to get the sides. Oh. Tuck. Window in. The side. Okay, let's go down, almost all the way down. Kind of just a final tuck, get all this stuff in. And this has to go up and in here. I'm gonna have to come one more time. Make sure that got in there. We're gonna have to go a little bit lower. Make sure all this stayed up like it's supposed to. Good. Good. Oh. 
Yeah, it looks good. Okay, drink it a few times, I'll get slack here. And don't force it, don't jump on it. Should be able to just clip it. And tighten it down. Why is it? Okay, so we got a problem here. Not sure what the problem is, but it's not going down. So, let's go loosen that back up again. And crank her up, see what we got going on. So we got something down here. Feeling anything jamming. Bed. Oh, wait, that bed wasn't all the way in that corner there. Kind of felt like it. Okay, let's try this again. Make sure all the stuff's tucked up. See how we got this? We gotta go up a little bit just to get that in. You turn off the gas. Well, I'm gonna leave it on because I got someone picking this up tomorrow. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put the steps in, and then uh, oh, that's all. Let's have Get that door open. We go ahead and lower these. But I'm going to leave them down because we got someone coming. And once those are lowered, you can go ahead and put this in here. Like so. Pull this out. Like so. In fact, it's easier if you go like this. Then you're done there. You leave the door open for now because you don't want to throw your blocks, your chuck and stuff in there. We're going to leave that up so I can show the customer. Don't have to do all that tomorrow. But yeah, so over here, basically, you just go the opposite way and wheel it back down. So, pull the ground and pull it out. Put it in there. You're good to go. Bucking out butt. So once you get hooked up to the tow vehicle, throw your blocks in the, there, throw all your stuff that you want in there, close the door, and then latch these down. And don't worry, you'll probably close the door, latch them down, and then be like, oh, I gotta put something in there. And then you gotta unlatch it, lift it all up again. Talking from experience. So, yeah, and they just like that. So, that's it. Camper's down. And we almost made it in the time of one battery. I don't think it's going to rain tonight, just in case. All right, thank you. Happy camping. <laughs>